Um, I wanted to just um, take a couple of minutes to show you um, a diagonal pin stitch that I um, am doing in order to start my thread on my one over one haid rather than use um, a waist knot like I'm, I've used here. Um, on this fabric, I can actually do a pin stitch on a one over one which you typically can't do on linen, but on this even weave I can, and I just wanted to show it to you. So this is my Haid, um, A Christmas Carol, and I'm doing this on 25 count. I'm gonna try and get in here and see if I can focus. There we go. I'm doing this on 25 count, one strand of floss over one space of the even weave fabric. Now I'm holding my camera in my hand so this is going to be a little bit difficult but bear with me. So this even weave is a 25 count Lugana and as you can see the threads are a little wide. Uh, they're not as thin as they are on linen. So I've got my needle loaded up here with one strand of floss and I'm going to see if I can if I can keep this in focus and show you how I'm doing this pin stitch. So I come down in the bottom corner of where I want my stitch to be and I come up in the top right corner diagonal from that. Bear with me for a moment. I'm trying to do this one handed here. Okay, so now this thread right here, I'm actually going to split that like you would on Ada if you were doing a fractional stitch. And doing this through the camera is not so easy. Okay, so I've split that thread and I'm going to pull this down. So I have a quarter stitch essentially. Then I'm going to come back up in the hole where I have that little tail. Okay. And I'm going to go back down in the middle again. In the same hole that I made the last time. So you give that a nice little tug and it, it goes tight. Hang on, I'm gonna try and focus this again here. I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing. And that actually is acting as the first leg of my cross stitch. Okay, now I'm gonna come up in this hole in my bottom right and I'm going to cross over into my top left to complete my X okay and that is is snug like that is not going anywhere I'm going to put my X in next to it that belongs here just to show you. So that's my pin stitch done and to anchor my thread this is the next stitch next to it I'm putting in here. I'm just gonna park my needle over here for a second. Now this little tail this is not going anywhere. So what I do is I snip that off right at the base right there, right down as tight as I can to my fabric. So just one second I'm going to do that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay. So I've now snipped off that little tail. You can just barely see the edge of it right there. By the time I put this next X in, that's going to be covered up as well. That stitch is anchored. It is not going anywhere. Um, I'll just show you here. I mean, you can poke at that as much as you want. It that that stitch is not coming out. 
So I hope that helped everybody. Have a great day. Bye.